morning. Good morning, good morning. Time for breakfast. Is it time for breakfast? Handy. Is it? Oh, sorry, buddy. Is it time for breakfast? I'm getting it. Georgie, calm down, baby. What happened here? What happened here? Was there a lily dozer in the cuddle cup? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Some pellets for Georgie. There you go, buddy. Hi, little babes. Good morning. What's all the trouble over here? What's it doing? Eat your breakfast. All right, so everyone has pellets. Everyone has water. Yep, everybody's got a good amount of hay since I cleaned cages yesterday and gave them a lot of hay. The only things that I really need to do today are clean the litter box and uh, clean out the rabbit's water dish because after I cleaned and filled it yesterday, they dunked their pellet treat ball into it. So, what's the matter? What's the matter, Lily Fluff? Are you just excited this morning and talking? And obviously later today I will need to swap clean cages, but... That is really all the morning chores done. All right, so I'm doing some pet chores tonight, starting with laundry. This is from cleaning all our cages over the weekend. So just putting all of this away. I like to put it away instead of, I'm really bad about putting my own laundry away, but I like to make sure I put the pet laundry away just cause it makes things easier throughout the week. Cause then I can find what I need. I'm actually planning during vlogmas the next week or two going through all of this fleece and kind of just like clearing it out because some of it I've had for so long and I just like don't really use it that much some of it is coming apart so I'm gonna kind of do a fleece clear out especially since I'm making some new things for Christmas and I have some other fleece to make liners with as well that needs done and there's just really not room in here at the moment hi miss randy what are you doing all right so i want to clear some of it out so that i can fit some newer stuff other than putting away the laundry tonight i really just need to um, spot clean like cages, so I'm going to do that as soon as we're done putting this laundry away. Let me know how you guys like the GoPro footage. Buddy, you're right where I need to put this. Thanks. Um, let me know how you like the GoPro footage. It makes my life way easier with putting things away and cleaning cages and all that and trying to film and get good footage for you guys. So let me know if you want some cage cleaning videos that are like talk through kind of like this because I've done one cage clean where I put music to it and I feel like that's really boring. Uh, but let me know what you guys like. 
I will do more of what you guys like. Especially during Vlogmas, we can try things out. So if you have an idea of something I should try, let me know and I will try it. All right. Like, especially some of those smaller pads up there need cleared out because some of them, like, I literally don't even use. Um, I end up using, like, the same ones that work the best and that match the most. So, I need to clear some of it out for sure. Some of the fleece, the rabbits have got a hold of. So, they have holes in them because somebody likes to chew fleece. Don't worry, it's not you, Mr. Andy. It's that one over there. Mike says, I'm not listening to you. All right, small pads. I am gonna be doing during Vlogmas like a reorganization video too because their closet is a little, I mean, some of it's gonna get cleared out so that's gonna help with the fleece getting cleared out, but it's just a little messy. And we have toys that like I don't even give them anymore because they're just old. So it's time for a big clean out. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna do a little bit of a pet room makeover. That'll be fun. I just want this room to feel a little more like decorated and homey if that makes sense. Because a lot of the stuff that's in here, I've kind of just gathered over the years and I would rather it kind of be cohesive and match the rest of my house a little bit. So I'm gonna be working on that. I gotta get through some stuff at work this week first because I have like one last big project that has to get done before like I really can relax for the year, but I'm working on that. And then once that's done, Vlogmas will really be the only regular thing that I have to worry about. And that's a fun thing, so that'll be good. All right, so that is all our laundry put away in our closet. So now I'm going to spot clean everyone and get them all cleaned up for the evening. So when I spot clean, I start with the little babe's cage. So, grab my dustpan and my little scooper. Oh, that's the extra one. Grab my little scooper. All right, to start with their cage, gotta get my little stool out. Hi, Mike, Mike. I kind of just move their stuff around to do this. So these are definitely still my most timid pigs. Um, I got them in January of 2020 and they were babies, baby babies. They're pretty calm now. Um, Johnny is still, Johnny's definitely my most timid pig, but he's just timid by nature. So I think he's just going to be timid, but he's getting better for sure. He's definitely come out of his shell, especially like the last couple of months. I feel like he's finally kind of started to warm up to us and realize that he's not going anywhere and we're not going to hurt him and that he's staying here. So he's starting to, starting to calm down and come out of his shell a little bit. Junebug is a little bit timid, but she has already had surgery since we've had her, so She's not so worried about us anymore. She's been picked up a lot by us and gone to the vet multiple times and all of that. So she's not too timid of a pig anymore. She's a little, little timid in her cage, but if you're not like doing this like in her cage, she doesn't really care if you're like in the room where Johnny will kind of run away if you're in the room and he's he doesn't know you're there. They're just on a random Christmas liner right now that I made in like 2015 probably. 
when I had the girls in a, well, Ke Bill and Kelly started in a two by four with a loft. So I made the, I think I made the liner for that. I actually think I made the liner for the DIY cage before I added on the extra piece like it is now. But it works in their cage pretty well. So this is kind of my evening routine. I do spot clean pretty much every night unless we, you know, are if we're like out late or something like that, then sometimes I'll, I'll miss a day spot cleaning, but I really don't. I try to spot clean pretty much every day just to keep the cages under control. You really have to if you use fleece because it will just get really gross really fast. It's much, much better, and it's much healthier. If you use fleece, you really have to spot clean every day. That's just kind of part of the maintenance of having fleece. So I spot clean pretty much every day. All right, so this can go back in. And I just usually flip them over when I put them back. And this, this pad will probably be in here maybe another two days. It might come out tomorrow night. It kind of just depends on how much time they spend sitting there eating hay, which, you know, usually is a lot. Kind of just depends on how wet it gets. I'll put their pellets back. Flip this over. Fix this. Alright. Uh, I'm probably gonna sneeze. Sorry if I sneeze. Okay, so I'm gonna put this stuff. I don't remember where it was, but it doesn't really matter. This stuff back down. Grab their bed. Not sure how there's poops on it. This is definitely the hardest cage to get in, in and out of. Reaching into this back corner. But it's really not bad on the stool. Put this back. Okay their bed back. Hi Johnny Big. And they are good to go for the evening. Next up we have Georgie and I like to do everything with the stool first so I do his loft first. His loft really doesn't get that bad. He does spend a lot of time up here but for some reason he doesn't really poop up here. He's actually probably my cleanest pig because he tends to go all in one spot, which is nice. Makes cage cleanup a lot easier. So his loft isn't too bad. More concerned with just getting the poops up anyways because there's always going to be hay up here. So it's kind of his hay loft. All right, his loft is pretty good. So I can put my stool away now. All right, and then, sorry, this, I have my GoPro on a hat and it's kind of itchy. All right. Then we do the downstairs, and hopefully you guys can see what I'm looking at when I do this. <laughs> Did you immediately start in on your chewing? All right, so I'm just gonna take this and dump it in the trash. 
because that's where he started to lay. Oh, I keep feeling like I'm gonna sneeze. Okay. I recently took out the divider between these two cages so that they could talk to each other, which I couldn't really do before because um, Georgie isn't fixed and uh, originally of the two little babies, uh, Johnny was the one that was fixed. So Johnny was the one that was fixed. So I didn't want any chance of like <laughs> Junebug and Georgie between the bars, if you know what I mean. Um, I just didn't want to risk it because stranger things have happened. See, he's such a clean pig. All right. So now that, now that Junebug is spayed, um, I felt like it was all right to take the divider out and I'm really glad I did because Georgie has really, really liked sitting there talking to them, which is nice. So I'm not sure what we're going to do. Like I can't really try to put them together because you can't really put two boys together with one female but it's nice that they can at least talk to each other at some point we might try to get georgie a friend but he just seems a lot happier being alone than when he had a friend so i'm just not sure all right and now we are on to the girl's cage hello pig so these are my senior girls they are five years old almost six years old they've lived together almost their entire lives Belle and Callie have lived together their entire lives what are you guys doing I got them from the pet store at the same time back when I first got guinea pigs and didn't really know you could adopt them I got Belle and Callie first and then adopted Lily and Luna. And of course I still have Lily. So all of the pigs since then have been adopted. But all of them have lived together almost their whole entire lives, which is nice. It's nice to think about. This is one of the most annoying liners to spot clean. Because it was one of the first liners that I ever made. And I didn't realize that I didn't have it all lined up perfectly. So it gets like bubbles on the top. But that's alright. It's still cute, so I still use it. I have found that using a litter scoop instead of a brush helps get the hay off the fleece a lot easier. It keeps my fleece looking a lot nicer for a lot longer in the cage. So that's nice. That's one thing people seem to have troubles, trouble with is getting the hay off of their fleece. And for one, spot cleaning every day helps a ton, but using a litter scoop instead of a brush helps a ton as well. All right, so this section is done. So there are poops in there. I'm gonna put their beds back.
do the middle section. I kind of have their cage divided into three sections on purpose so that it's easier to clean, spot clean. What you doing out there, Mr. Mike? And I like to, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I like to shake everything off into the trash as much as I can to keep things cleaner. Unless I know I'm going to be vacuuming like tonight. Like if I was planning on vacuuming tonight, I might shake this off onto the floor because I'm just going to vacuum it up. But I'm not vacuuming tonight, so shake it off into the trash. Watch out, Kelly, stop eating that. Flip this over so that they have the clean side. Right, to give them their hay tunnel back. And then we just have one section left. You guys just like to eat the dustpan, huh? This is the very last section. I kind of like dividing it into three sections to clean pretty much and kind of just making it a routine that I go through every single day. Just makes it kind of a no brainer to come in and clean cages. I always do them in the same exact order, same exact way. Just makes things really easy. Same thing in the morning. I just do the same exact thing every single day. Get all this little bits of hay off the fleece. This section's usually not too bad, actually. Somebody's chewing behind me. Let me know if you guys have anything you want to see during Vlogmas. I kind of have a plan, but definitely open to suggestions. It's kind of just a loose plan so that if I don't have anything to vlog, um, I kind of have, you know, an idea, something to fall back on or something to do. So any suggestions are definitely welcome if there's something you guys want to see. We are going to be doing Christmas cages later on this month, so that'll be fun. Oh gosh, I thought I just kicked a bunny. I forgot their hay rack was right behind my feet. The only downside of free range bunnies is you have to be aware of where they are at all times when you're in their room. because. They will definitely get right under your feet. All right, we are done with that. Put this guy back. Ooh, little pad back there. All right, put these back. their house back and that is pretty much our evening spot cleaning routine everybody looks good I'm gonna get them a little bit of water everything else looks good everyone else has water probably get them a little bit of water too and then I'm gonna fill up hay racks and then we'll pretty much be done for tonight all right so let's go ahead and get hay I keep our hay in this box Everybody gets excited for hay time. Start with these guys. Are you excited? You love your hay. Yeah, you <laughs> oh, I breathed it in. They love their hay time. 
We get all of our hay from KMS Hayloft. It's the bluegrass hay. I like to get bluegrass because it's very similar to Timothy hay and orchard grass hay, but I am not allergic to it. I'm not allergic to orchard grass, I don't think, but I'm very allergic to Timothy. And I found that this is something that I'm not allergic to really, or not near as bad. Timothy hay is bad. Like that KT brand, Timothy hay, my boyfriend has to give them that. That's really just like a backup bag in case we run out, which we don't really use it because <laughs> I order every six weeks, but we have it just in case. And I like to occasionally give it to the bunnies because they do also really like Timothy hay, but my boyfriend has to put that in the hay rack. I can't even, like I will just start wheezing pretty much. I can't do it. It's so dusty, but I'm perfectly fine with this makes me sneeze a little bit, but nothing major. I like to push the hay out in their little hay tunnel thing so it's easier for them to get. But they'll eat through this by the end of tomorrow, for sure. Which is good. I want them to eat as much as possible. All right. Everybody has hay, so I'm going to get these guys water. pretty much our entire evening spot cleaning routine done. I'm going to clean up this because I don't know why this is becoming a thing. But we're going to clean this up. that's it. I'm going to put the lid back on our hay. Eventually it'll get to the point that I can shut that, but right now it's just very full. Bunnies have plenty of hay. Oh, we need to clean out the rabbit's water dish so we can do that. I love this water they can't tip it over and it keeps their water really clean unless they dump something in the bowl but it just keeps their water cleaner because it's not just you know sitting out so fills up as they drink too all right everybody is happy hi BB everybody's good happy munching away hi Georgie hi Georgie all right that is our entire evening spot cleaning routine this is like my favorite part of the night everybody's clean everybody's happy and eating has water all the laundry is put away everybody's happy and relaxing especially mikey underneath there now i just feel like i can relax for the evening because everybody's happy